everyone, my name is Wawa and welcome back. This will be game number two of the best of three series that you guys have already started. It is still between these two five gentlemen. We have EVV Titan who's gonna be spawning at the nine o'clock position on the map as the Red Zerg is opponent is gonna be Liquid Tyler who is gonna be spawning at the two thirty position of the map as the blue protoss the map we have right now is shadow temple shadow temple is a four player map you can also spawn right here at the six o'clock position of the map or right here at the twelve o'clock position of the map we have one sonata right here in the middle and two gold expansions right here on the upper left side of the map and also right here at the bottom right side of the map this is actually the revamped version of the very very famous lost temple map and this is actually a much better version of the map as did it did remove a lot of those imbalanced issues that we were having with his daddy or the whole lost temple as those cliffs right there man they're gone if you guys are aware of what I'm talking about they're gone they're they're not here anymore it's actually been a long time since they've been removed that so I don't think I even need to mention that anymore I just want to give you guys a little bit more background as to how we got to this point with this map it actually looks kind of weird in the middle look there's so much empty space right here in the middle there's so many bow that can shoot right here and that's gonna be pretty awesome if ever we see a lot of big clashes right there in the middle and that's gonna be in the mid to late game stages if we ever get that far as if you guys did see game number one it didn't really it didn't really made it to the 10 minute mark it was a very very quick 4 gate timing push by liquid Tyler and actually a very very well executed timing push right there but look at Sarla so you gotta give him props for that even though it is indeed a 4 gate typical 4 gate timing push it was very very well executed I'm not saying that it's really hard to do that but ex executing it really really well and making your play your opponent think that you were expanding first is actually quite a feat it itself as we do have right here, VV Titan is trying his best to block off the Cyber Knight score. And indeed, he did do that. But is he going to lose this drone? Though the drone is only 6 HP remaining. He needs to run away. He is queued up though. So he might live. And that is indeed going to be pretty awesome for him. As the Cyber Knight score is still not flopped down right here. So this is going to be a really, really different opening right here. But look at Charles. But here we go. The Cyber Knight score is actually right here. Excuse me. Completely not looking at the production tab. It doesn't help you at all. But casting games. We do have a Zergling speed being researched here as well. This is a much earlier Zergling speed than we saw a while ago. And right now it looks like BBB Titan isn't really taking any risk at all. As he is just about to plop down his hatchery at the 20 second food count. That's actually very late. Not really that late but this is most likely a good timing where you just want to be secure with any timing pushes that's about to happen or there's a possibility. Because Tyler did show a 4 gate. A uh, hand on game number one, so he just want to show his opponent that he is definitely, definitely capable of pulling off those cheeses and not really afraid to use it. So we do have a Stargate popping down right here for Liquid Tyler. This another different kind of opening right here by Liquid Tyler. The first one was a four gate play, a very, 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 very common play that is used from bronze to gold to diamond to grandmaster. It still works wherever you are. It all depends on how you're executed. And this target play is actually one of the most unusual. Not really unusual, but pretty, pretty widely used as well, but not as much used as the 4 gate that we saw from game number one. But the question is is it gonna work out for Liquid Tower? We're usually gonna see Void Race here, but then again, we do see openings of nexuses when we do see void race first but it looks like in this situation we do have a phoenix first right here most likely he is gonna be making three phoenixes in a row then he's just gonna try to harass the mineral line of oh, vivid titan which is actually very very good harassment type but is it gonna pay out for liquid style though as i don't think he has enough apm for it though this look at the apm type real quick he is only averaging 170 apm actions per minute and i don't i'm not sure though i'm not really good with timings with APMs and such but 170 APM most likely those are just spam but and just to keep your hands warm and such as uh, he did already expose his hand right here as the overload did go down so two phoenixes right now are on the field and right now BBB Thailand already knows that those two phoenixes are already coming so he is making four spore crawlers already we have 
three in the main base. Damn, he really, really is afraid of those four crawlers and one in the expansion as well. No, one more in expansion. We have five four crawlers here. Wow, this is such a weird, weird uh, reaction right here. BB Titan losing more order right there. That's a lot of sport crawlers, but really, he doesn't really just want to die here in this earlier stages, and he just maybe wants to prolong this game a little bit longer, as he can do a lot more whenever the game is a little bit longer. And look at him lifting up the queen. He's gonna lose a phoenix, though. Very, very misclick right there. Hi, look at He is trying to focus fire on this queen, though. But is it gonna be enough, though? No, the phoenix is gonna be focus fire yet again. And the move out right here of the guitar, the one gate push again here by the guitar. Is it gonna work out here though? 47 against 46 food supply though. And the Phoenix is taking massive damage here again. Is it gonna be enough though? Bathing is being warped in. 18 Zergis are on the way here still. Oh, nice play right here. Four Zergis have popped out right here. And then Twilight is gonna be completing right now. But is it gonna be enough though? More units are being warped in right now. Groves and drones and Zergis are being used here for defense. Oh my god. And looks like the harasser has been seized right here and Tyler is gonna be forced to run away all those units are trapped there in the corner he's actually gonna try to force Titan to engage those in the corner which is not really the best idea but right now Bainix are morphing in so once those Bainix have morphed in we are gonna see a lot of bloodshed or a lot of blue flames because that's how they die that's how pro these units die but no they're not gonna allow to die in that corner alone here we go the phoenix are moving in good hits right there on those zerglings on those zealots excuse me and they did maximum damage as all those zealots were clumped up in the corner and now these two stalkers are gonna be just rage right now in a few moments there you go they're all just dead very very good hold right there by vvv titan liquid Tyler right now i'm not sure what he is gonna be able to do right now as he is definitely behind 43 against 50 right now let's look at the harvester tab real quick we have 36 against 25 in favor of vvv titan this is very very good in position for titan right now as he is gonna be slowly but surely taking the lead a little bit further as he's gonna start to continue with his macro he's just placing two more three more spine photos right here just in case there is a one more push right here attempt by liquid Tyler and that might be a very, very strong push but no he's indeed making a nexus right now is he gonna cancel this though that is the question it's always possible to see a pro player canceling a nexus faking an expansion and canceling it to just make their opponent believe that they're gonna go for an expansion but indeed they can cancel it and then just completely avoid the expansion plan and just go in with an all-out all-in push which is a definite possibility as we did see two early timing pushes coming out of liquid Tyler. I wouldn't really call them cheese because those are quite defendable it all depends on how you scout them but they are quite hard to defend indeed but VVV Titan really did quite amazingly with defending that and looks like he is going to be researching ventral sex right here this is going to be pretty huge he's going to try his best to do some drop plays right here in just one second morphing in more spine crawlers wow four spine crawlers right here might be overkill but you can't really be certain or you can't really be secure because the style of the katala right now is just he's just going to go for time push after time push after time push and he's just going to move up with a lot of songs right here and sandries i don't think this is going to be the best thing uh, coming out of the base of Tyler right now as there is a lot of Zergis and it's also Bainix are moving in here as well most likely to defend this but most likely Tyler is just forcing his opponent to make a lot of units or is he gonna engage this though definitely I don't think he should engage this right now he should just backfire as there is a lot of spine crawlers right here force to pop down right there right now for Liquid Tyler all those Zergis are gonna trap him and they're gonna be able to run away those spine crawlers are doing massive damage just killing off one stalker right there and more Zergs being capped right there as well. The Bane are not being used as of for the moment as those spine crosses are just doing enormous damage on all those army of the guitar and find the Zergs finding a way on the other side of those force but then again they're not gonna choose to engage they're just gonna try to just to hold their line and here we go the banes are gonna come in there right now and good hits right there on one banning and the other banings are gonna hit also doing massive damage one more banning is alive here is it gonna do massive damage yes indeed good damage right there by that long banning and now the rest of the zergling army is gonna pop out right there and this is actually very very good right now for baby with titan as zergs are really really good against all those army of tyler right now and tyler does start to morph in more zealous right here, but the like, zealots aren't really that good against five spine crawlers. Look at that. Dude, take massive damage right there. And this forward pylon is just gonna stay here. And maybe he's gonna warp in more units right here. We'll see in just one second. He is warping in more zealots, but he is warping in, in the another location right here by his natural. And damn, Titan doing such an enormous job 
defending all those pushes right there. Oh, look at Tyler. Tyler right now needs to just macro up and just wait and just needs to just stack up a little bit. Maybe get some Colossus in the field. That's gonna really, really help him out a lot for the next engagement. And it's also as well here for Titan. Titan looks like he is done with his Vendor of Sacks research and gonna do some drops right here. Where is he gonna plop that? That is a question. He is actually gonna divide them, I guess. One is. I'm not sure where this is going. Most likely, it's gonna be going right here by the main of oh, Liquid Tyler and this couple right here. Gonna be going at the front as well. More baiting are working in here as right now. Wow, that is a lot of baiting bombs ahead is on the way right now. VV Titan is on the way with one baiting bomb right here in the main base, but they are spotted by the Phoenix. Is it gonna be enough though? Three baitings, then all of the baitings have landed, and here we go. The engagement right here on the front is gonna engage as well. Baiting bombs are gonna engage. But is he gonna be enough though? Those games are just doing one damage or doing damage to one or two that units and here come oh good hits right there on those things, but they didn't even kill as much drones as he wants as those zergs are gonna try their best to just clean the mess that those bandings left. They are just gonna try to kill off as much of those low HP probes as much as they can and now they're gonna run away but BB Titan is definitely gonna lose a lot of over the here as the air control is in favor of Liquid Tyler right now there is still a lot of action right here in the main and he is not aware that there is a banding overlord right there on the by the mineral expansion and the bandings are being walked lifted up right here by Liquid Tyler as well before they do any damage at all they're not gonna allow it to Tyler right now Finally holding strong right here. He did lose a good number of probes right there and a good number of army 73 against 45 right now in favor of the Red Zerg. 45 against 25 right now. Economy wise, it is really in the favor of really the Titan right now. Air control is still in the favor of Titan. So that's the question of how much damage you can do with those air units and can he harass the main base enough? I don't think so though. He, there's another hatch right here on the 11 o'clock position of the map. Is he gonna be able to use utilize us very very soon though? We will see in just one second. High units are out right now. And oh no, those Phoenixes are just taking massive damage. They were caught completely caught off guard right there. High those Zergers and now all those are gonna go down very very quickly. More high are popping out right there. And now there's only two Phoenixes remaining right here. Looking really really bad right now for Liquid Siler. Wow, very, very nice player right here by VV V Saiten knowing what to do, when to do it exactly at the right time. And now he's looking really, really good right here. And is he in the spot? Yes, indeed, he's in the lead in the spot to take this game right now. 92 against 54. Uh, food supply in favor of the Red Zerg. More Bane is warping in here right now. So he might go for the final kill right here, ladies and gentlemen. We might see the final attack here being uh, engaged or being commenced right here by BBB Titan. We will see that in just one second. 164 food supply. Oh, this is so huge. Let's look at the harvest harmony tab real quick. 26 Zergans with 8 Hydralis and Baining Bombs are still gonna be happening here in this engagement as well. How well is he gonna be able to ex execute this? We will see in just one second. Look at this. All the Zergus are gonna come in there at first. Gonna lure the, all those units in, and there's gonna be Phoenix here. Gonna be dropping, and all those units are just are trapped on the other side of the building. About the expansion. But here we go. Very, very nice drop play right here. All those Phoenix are gonna do massive damage. All the Sentries are gone. All the Sentries are gone. We're all dead, and now all those uh, Stalkers are just gonna get left in the corner right there, and all those Hydras are gonna be able to clean those up. Very very nice man. Is he gonna be able to focus by this next? No, he's not gonna be able to focus by that. There's two Phoenixes right there gonna be helping out with these defense. And looks like Tyler is gonna survive for a little bit longer right now. Wow, good old action right there. A liquid Tyler, even though he has a smaller army and he did lose a lot of those sentries, he was able to defend against that push right there that was done by VV Titan. So here we go. The question is, is he going to have enough economy here to last a little bit longer? He does have 36 harvesters and that's it. Oh man, that's actually not a lot of harvesters right now. For a Protoss player, he needs to make a lot more harvesters as he is behind by 20 harvesters right now. That's actually really, really bad. If he wants to keep up with the economy and he wants to come back to this game, he needs to make more harvesters. But it looks like it is really in the thick of things right now as more units are coming in here right now for Titan marching their way to the other side of the map. Are they gonna engage this army of Tyler one more time? 118 against 74 right now. Liquid Tyler barely has any army at all. 
forces are gonna be landing right there as well and it's actually a good draw right there by Titan wasting all those energy of those sentries and they're just gonna run away right now he's gonna lose a couple of hydros right there though but then again losing all those sentries energy it's actually a very big deal that might be an even trade right here even though he's losing a lot of units right here and now creep stride is really really looking good right now still on the other side of the base but still though creep stride slowly but surely spreading right now in favor of the zerg player 123 against 82 right now and now his tire like that engages here we go voices have been landed very very nice voices right there gonna try to focus fire on the spine order real quick he's gonna be able to take that down very very nice player right more roaches on the way right now though this is gonna be really really tricky right here how much damage can tyler do right now is he gonna be able to win against this Kalash right here very very nice slicer right there feeling bombs are gonna happen again hitting all those servers and all those stalkers very very nice play and now the roach army is gonna come in here to clean things up all the stalkers are just gonna run away gonna try to kite these roaches as these roaches doesn't really have speed right now and they're really really slow even though uh, especially away from those uh, creep right now and I think Titan needs to wait and see what he can do right now he needs to just research the move speed for those roaches and the hydrolysis uh, need more creep more creep spread I guess Voyager is being warped in right now here as well for the Protoss player, does he have a third Nexus on the way? No, there is still no third Nexus here for Liquid Tyler. He's just trying to hold his best, hold his ground right now in two bases as we do a fourth hatchery up right now here for BBB Titan. We have upgrades right now for all the units of Titan. No upgrades as if yet. No, not even, wow, not even melee attack. Oh, we do have one on the melee attack. That's actually not very very good as you want to be at least 2-2 at the stage of the game we are here at 23, 23 minute stage of the mark right of the game right now excuse me and that's what you need to do as that may be the key thing that you are missing that's why you cannot finish up this game as those key upgrades really really do factor later on in this game as we have 146 against 78 right now good by 70 against 36 right now in favor of BB Titan in terms of harvester count this is gonna be huge. We have investors out right now for BBV Titan. So we are gonna see some epic, epic phone growth for army. That is the question. Is the guitar good enough to micro away those with those formal growths? As we do have two voyagers out in the field right now though. And there's barely any anti-air right here for VV Titan. I think he's just gonna wait and see if he can mess up more anti-air like in the hydrolysis and such before he engage because you can never be too certain and you can never be uh, too cautious now, especially when void rays are in the mix because void rays are so so good especially when they're all charged up they're just gonna easily wipe away your army banes are warping in right now oh this is actually a good time to push right here by Tarda to engage on those void rays doing massive damage and the fast is being lifted up right there but then the void is gonna get completely shut down no phone growth has been landed but the banes have been warping in completely warped in right now and all the sides is gonna clean up all these units and liquid alloy has to gg Good game, good game right here by VVV Titan taking game number two, tying up the series one to one. And game number three is on the way, guys. So stick around. Game number three, guys. It's gonna be pretty epic. One second. <laughs> 